Happy Monday, guys. Good to see you. So today is a book review day. Today, what book I will be reviewing is How to Be the Dad She Needs You to Be by Dr. Kevin Lehman, New York Times bestselling author. Basically, a parenting book on the daddy-daughter connection and how fathers can improve their daughter's lives by building a strong emotional daddy-daughter bond. But before I get started, and maybe some of you are asking yourselves this question, watching this video, thinking, why is this guy qualified to give, you know, advice on parenting and reviewing books on parenting and books on child development? not being a parent myself. And yes, I'm not a parent myself, but I have spent 10 years working in child development. I have spent the last eight years working in a public school system. So I've spent a lot of time and have extensive, extensive experience working with young boys and girls. And I found out that I do have a friend who is a father-to-be. And don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but I did buy him this book for his birthday. So that is my contribution to his family. Hopefully, maybe it's a girl. But my primary experience working with Kids has primarily been, it's been boys mostly, but a few years ago I was assigned to work with, for the first time, three girls. So it was that first time experiencing working with little girls. So that, that experience w was what gave me the knowledge and practical experience I needed to be able to understand working with young girls and boys. Very different. But... This is more talking about the daddy-daughter connection. And for fathers who have daughters or who are, maybe, maybe you're struggling trying to connect with your daughter. But that connection with your daughter starts at a very young age. Very young. And when girls are young from the ages of zero to five, Though, like, that's the window that you want to be able to connect with them. It's not, it's not, at that age, it's not difficult to connect with them. It's very easy to connect to them. And the dynamic and the relationship that you built with, build with young girls at that age is the dynamic that's going to follow them for the rest of your lives. So if you built a strong, loving, playful, affectionate relationship with them, and your little daughter associates you with positive emo emotions and she loves her dad and likes to play with her dad and then misses her dad and gets upset every time her dad leaves the house or leaves for a trip or she knows she's not going to see her dad for a couple days and upset. If she's sad, if your little girl is sad to see you leave, you're doing your job. And it may sound weird, you know, your daughter's crying and upset seeing daddy leave. But that means you've engaged her emotions. Little girls are emotional beings. They're emotional creatures. They're emotionally driven. And when you can engage their emotions, that's when you connect with them. That's when you build that strong emotional connection. I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you an example. I've worked in a, in a classroom or this is one shy girl that didn't want to talk talk to anybody. So, yeah, she came up come up to me the first couple of days. She didn't, she was too shy to talk, too shy to say anything. So she just what she takes her pencil, takes her sharpener, and just hands it to me. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't ask me. I know what. Obviously, I know what she wanted me to do. So what I do. You know, I sharpen the pencil for her and I make a joke. I make a joke and I ask her about herself. I establish a connection. I make her laugh 
I make her smile, I engage her emotions. At first she was shy and she didn't laugh very much. But as the days and weeks go went by and I started doing that every day, trying to make her laugh, trying to engage her emotions, slowly started to open up and she slowly started to smile and smile and smile. So she came, she, and following that, she, every day she would come to me, not, not to sharpen the pencil anymore. She came to me so I would make her laugh, so I can gauge her emotions. So she started to feel emotionally connected to me. And that's the same, same concept that Kevin Lehman goes into in his book, is that you got to establish that emotional connection with your dog. Do it for humor, do it through play. But there's got to be a fine balance between that too. The balance between connecting her emotions, but also setting boundaries too. Because if all you're doing is playing and making her laugh and having fun, you know, at a certain point, your daughter is going to test your boundaries or what she can get away with too. And if you're only known as, you know, the fun dad, the dad that makes her laugh all the time, She's going to associate you with positive emotions, but at a certain point, she's going to try to pull the rug from around you and test your boundaries. That's when the other side of your daddy-daughter relationship takes place. you got to be able to set firm, healthy boundaries with her. That is also engaging her emotions, too. It's just the other side of her emotions as well. That she knows daddy's fun, daddy's great to be with, Daddy makes me laugh. I have fun. I have fun spending time with my dad, but I know dad has certain rules and dad has certain boundaries, and I can't cross these boundaries because then I'm in trouble. And that setting those healthy rules and setting those boundaries will make your daughter feel comfortable. If you don't set any boundaries at all, what's going to happen? She's not going to respect you. She's got no respect for you. Yeah, she may think you're fun, fun to play with, but it's that respect that has to come into play too. And that that respect and that affection comes by setting those boundaries. Because if you can set your boundaries with her, you know she knows you can set your boundaries with anybody. And she knows that daddy's in charge. You know, daddy's structured. Daddy's got his game on and daddy's going to protect me. When she knows she, you're going to set boundaries, she knows that you're going to protect her when you need to. You know when and how to set those boundaries based on the context of the situation. And when you don't have to set those boundaries at all, then it's playtime, then it's engage your emotions, then it's time to laugh. you got to make sure that you're being that pillar of strength, that symbol of strength to her. So when things, things don't go well and she falls and scrapes her knee, or she's crying at night because she can't fall asleep and crying for dad. You know, dad's the one that's going to come into the room and, you know, and make the ghosts go away. Make the bad guys go away. Make the monsters go away. She knows that dad's there to protect her. Set those boundaries. And when you're not setting those boundaries, that's the time to emotionally connect. Spend time with her. Play and laugh. Engage those emotions. And Kevin Lehman also goes into the book of describing how the effects of the dynamic you have with your daughter that will mirror the relationships she has when she's older. So if she has a very abusive relationship with her father, she's going to end up looking for very abusive relationships as, she, as she's older in her boyfriends and husbands that... Whatever she doesn't, whatever she didn't get from her dad, she's gonna like unhealthily try to find that in adult relationships and romantic relationships as well. If it ends up being a very toxic relationship with dad, it ends up being a very toxic relationship with her boyfriends as well. It becomes very positive, very nurturing, very affectionate, very playful, health, healthily setting boundaries with your daughter well, then that's the men she's going to find. So if you want your daughter to find a healthy, 
strong, positive, masculine figure for her romantic life, then you need to be the example of that. You need to be the cornerstone. You need to be the measuring stick for your daughter. And that you could be the measuring stick of the man in her life. You gotta be the most important man in her life when she's young and when she's an adult too. As dad, you're the measuring sticks that she's gonna measure all men. You gotta be number one. You gotta set the standards. You gotta be the gold standard for all men that are gonna come into her life and come out of her life. But the one guy you, you gotta make sure that doesn't end up leaving her life is her dad. On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this message was of value to you. And if you'd be interested in how to be the dad she needs you to be, like Kevin Lehman, it's on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon. And if this message was of value to you, you can smash the like button and subscribe. Look at other book reviews. I've done book reviews on The Boy Crisis by Warren Farrell. I've done book review on on Quiet. And Quiet, Quiet, yes, it was Quiet by Susan Cain. And Storytime episodes as well. On Friday, this coming Friday, I believe it's June 19th, it'll be the 30th episode of the Storytime show. Make sure you tune in. It'll be a good show. I'm not telling you what the topic is. You'll have to tune in and see. But it'll all be part of your personal growth and development. And I will see you all in another life. Have a great night, guys. Bye.